Welcome to another Tech Health video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the message box function, and we're going to learn how to prompt the user, are you sure, in your Microsoft Access databases. Today's question comes from Annabelle from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, one of my gold members. Annabelle says, I have a series of queries, series of queries, say that 10 times fast, right? I have a series of queries that I run once a month to generate reports. There's a bunch of append and delete queries in there, and they take a long time to run. I know exactly what you mean. I've accidentally clicked on the button to start this procedure a few times. Short of killing access, and I hope you mean killing the process, not actually like stabbing access. But anyways, is there any way to have it prompt me, are you sure, before beginning this process? Yeah, of course, you can use the message box prompt to ask the user, are you sure, and have them click yes or no. I mean, there's other things you could do, too. You can make the button small and move it out of the way, make a separate form for it. Don't put it where, you know, don't put it on the same menu where your other buttons are. But let me show you how to make an are you sure prompt with a message box. Now, if you've never done any Access VBA programming, don't panic. This is pretty easy to do. Go watch my intro to Access VBA. It's a free video. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. It gives you all the basics of how to get in there and start programming in VBA. It's, it's, not, too, it's not too long. It's not hard to do. All right, but go watch that first if you've never done any programming. Now, Annabelle, I know that you have done some programming because you've got a bunch of my developer classes. So we're going to teach all the kind people how to use the message box. Now, you can use message box just to pop a message up on the screen. All right, I'm going to go into design mode here. All right, and I am going to grab a command button right there and drop it here. I'm going to cancel the wizard. All right, and I'm just going to put in here, this is my message box. All right. Now, right-click, build event. That's going to open up the code builder. If you get a window asking you, if you want the code builder or a couple of different kind of builders, pick the code builder. And if you watch my intro to VB class, you'd know that. All right, so right in here, I'm in Command 14, click. Yeah, normally you'd give the button a nice name, like Customer Contact Button, but this is just for a sample. Okay, so I'm going to put in here Message Box, M-S-G-B-O-X, space, and then a prompt, right? Like, Hello World, like that. That's it. Something inside of quotes, right? Hello World. Save that. Come back out here. Let's close the main menu and reopen it. All right, I'm going to click on the message box. Ready? Here we go. Pink. There it is. Hello world. Okay, that's a message box. Now, the default message box only gives you an OK button. All right, so I'm going to click OK, and that's it. That's like giving someone a message like, hey, no, notice, you know, no, this is something's going on here. All right, or you can pop up the current time or whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to get a response, okay, then message box can also be a function. In other words, it can return a value. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to say if message box and then open parenthesis this time. All right, because it's a function, so you got to have it inside parentheses. Okay. Um, would you like to continue? Okay, now, comma. It says buttons. There's a whole bunch of different buttons you can put in here. Now, I cover most of these in my full classes, but the one we're looking for is VB yes, no, right there. There's VB yes, no, and VB yes, no, cancel. We're going to go with VB yes, no. Okay, that's going to give me yes and no buttons. All right, comma. Title means you can change the title across the top of the message box so it doesn't say Microsoft Access. You can put something in here like... Um, you know, uh, warning or something like that. Then there's help file and context. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Those are optional. Close it up. All right, now, that message box is going to return a value. All right, either VBS or VBNO. Those are the only two options. So I'm going to say if that message box equals VBS, then in here, we're going to just uh, continue. Let's... Uh, let's uh, do command dot open form the customer form. All right. Otherwise, we'll uh, do command dot open form the order form. All right. Just to, just just have it do something. All right. So the message box will pop up with the yes or no buttons and a warning on top. 
ask the user to click one or the other. If they click yes, it's going to open up the customer form. If they click no, it's going to open up the order form. All right, save it. Come back over here. Ready? Click the button. Warning, would you like to continue? Okay, yes. And there's the customer form. Let's do it again. Message box. No. And there's the order form. See? It knows whether you clicked on yes or no. Sometimes I'll throw cancel on there too. There's yes, no cancel because sometimes if users aren't sure, they're likely to just hit cancel to cancel something if they don't understand your prompt. And then I just check for you know yes or no and cancel can do the same thing. So in, so in your case, um, Annabelle, what you want to do is you want to say here, um, you know, this will run the monthly report. Uh, are you sure? Question mark. You know, uh, report. Now, you can say here, if this is VBS, then right in here, do all your stuff. Okay, if they answer yes to this, do you, are you sure? Then put your do command run queries in here because you got, uh, I, I saw some of your stuff. You've got, um, you, she sent me a screenshot. She's got a couple of, she's got a delete query, delete last month's table. She runs a make table query, uh, an append query to add some other stuff on it. She's pulling information down over the network. So there's a, there's a, this report literally takes about 15 minutes to run. And if she clicks on it, there's no way to cancel out of that except for, killing access which could possibly corrupt the database so you don't want to do that so right here you just have do command open query query one do command open query query two and that's pretty much it that's how you use the message box command i cover message box in a couple different places in access expert level 16 i show you how to use message box as a macro command you can actually use it as a macro too but really where you want to go is Access Developer 1, all right? Developer Level 1, it's my full intro to VBA. The class I pointed to earlier is like a quick intro. This is the real intro. It's an hour and 15 minutes long. And, of course, we cover all the basics on using VBA. All right, here's the example with open query and stuff, too. Now, in the extended cut for members, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing without using Message Box. All right, I'm going to leave Message Box 1 there for you. But we're going to create Message Box 2. And when you click on that, it'll change the caption of the box. So it'll say, are you sure? Right on the button and change it to red and it'll beep. And we'll make a cancel button visible. So now the user can either click on that button a second time or click on the cancel button. And when it's done running, it'll revert back to looking like message box two. That is all covered in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download the databases I create in these videos. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there.
Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.